Oh, hello. Good morning, everybody. It's MJ. I do the tarot. That's right. Every day. <laughs> That's not true, actually. I do it mostly every day. And we teach lots of yoga over here. I talk a lot about, you know, meditation, silence, uh, spirituality. I don't know. It's all just words and noise at the end of the day. Quiet. Oh, yay. Oh, hello. What else do I, business you do I need to say? You can book private readings, book online meditation and yoga sessions and breathwork sessions. And um, mostly I, I hope that you are okay and i hope that there's love in your heart and all to love really comes from this deep there's this place in yoga oh we're gonna go off on a tangent there's the shavasana you know the relaxation at the end it's like die to the illusion and rest in peace there's this like inner plus that's the namaste like rec recognize that inner peace and divine spark and truly unconditionally like mega love condition within it's always there, yo. It's always there. That is the, the crux of all the razzmatazz of the distraction of this crazy, beautiful world. Like this peaceful, I, I mean, unless you're a robot. But still, there's going to be some spark that actually gives you a bit of a juice, right? <laughs> Just, you know, <clears throat> as a real organic human, you, <laughs> uh, you're just connected for free. You know, it's actually, wow, <laughs> so beautiful and like, what weird. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad that, that this past weekend has finished. And, and sometimes, you know, when heaviness is happening, it's so mega to remember that these moments are always passing it's kind of bittersweet kind of depressing sometimes as well like you're taking none of this with you okay <laughs> except for the experience what let's just carry on my intention with tarot is divine guidance and loving clarity i'm an intuitive tarot reader so i don't necessarily use traditional um tarot although when that does come up recently that came up as well and and i had to go back and reference more of the traditional meaning and that's uh it's really useful you know it's really useful to keep learning and yeah different intuitive readers i'll like learn from them as well anyway if you're still here what what high five my livers oh this <gasps> There's like a happy celebration straight up. I'm sure yesterday we talked about a divorce or at some point <laughs> we're breaking up. Um, no, this is like a reunion or I mean, there could be a reunion because there's an eight of cups reverse. Like as in it looks like maybe somebody had to walk away or maybe they had to walk away for someone else or something. <clears throat> but there's definitely a. Uh, like in the past walking away situation but then the hierophant here the hierophant would be like yeah and then celebrations right like this is often proposal marriage you know it's going to an external authority body to get stuff or you know have a contract delivered or something like this so so after walking away, there's a rising, there's a renewal of a new of a of a happy family home, you know, a happy home. Oh, and then also it's like uh, I suspect there's probably been some healing, right? As in this situation's had to go through some sort of Maybe a change, a shift of power, perhaps. Uh, well, yeah, maybe like a bit of corruption, a bit of lying or a buildup of lying or and then there's this healing, maybe space, walk away. And then we have a talk, we celebrate. And maybe if this is a cycle, like a renewal of a vow of a vow or or like if it's early in its earlier stages as a relationship, it's like. So now it's like, do we take it to the next level kind of thing? And it looks like with the Ten of Cups, this is, this is defo potential, more you livers. You, um, 
let's just get another another pulse about this ten of cups like <clears throat> any more energy about that ten of cups situation what what there's a three of swords you guys <clears throat> Another way to look at this now is to say, okay, this could be a familial situation that's causing a lot of grief as well. And then there's the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment energy, right? Two nine of cups. Heartbreak is, okay. So in this reading, there's a central theme here of a lot of heartbreak, grief, pain, pain in the heart, right? In whatever, however, and why ever, and, you know, that comes about. Within a joyful situation, it's like something definitely has broken down and one person walked away. And then there's a return. And it looks like there's, a, 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 bearing in mind, these two nine of cups are saying, like, whomever had to walk away got to, so... Eight, eight is a bit sad. Eight is like, boo. But nine is like, wee. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So somebody walking away empowered themselves. Got to a place of feeling really good. Maybe, just maybe, that empowerment process is what is looping this situation back around to uh, um, another level of commitment, possibly. Hierophant Ten of Cups, right? A new vision. So it could be that. Like it could be the situation is is actually morphing as well. Uh, does anyone know? Like what is this life? Father of Wands, I do feel like this is, for some of you, obviously, for some of you, this is somebody coming in to make an offer. <clears throat> this is somebody who's probably quite magnetized and or like they're magnetically drawn to you and they're probably fairly magnetic themselves. Mag magnetism. For some of you guys, this is just like getting, I think there's needing a bit of, of time to reflect and like come back to self. Um, it could be you or it could be somebody in your midst possibly wearing a bit of a mask. Or the depth of the healing that's being cleared out has to do with your empowerment process and, 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 uh, Something regarding the the like the masculine principle of taking action of um yeah so just be aware of that whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with it's it doesn't feel like I mean there could like it doesn't feel like super duper insidious but there is darkness here so just be mindful. Yeah, there's something, there's a, there's a fair bit of different energy here and I'm definitely tuning into that nine of cups. Those are singular energy. So, I mean, it could just be for a heck of a lot of us. Somebody, I was talking to somebody about the reads and saying that sometimes over the years now, I realize that there are like ebbs and flows with these readings and it would appear that sometimes it ebbs and flows into this sort of cycle of, um, almost a repetition because there's a collective theme happening as in a similar kind of thing is happening to lots of people on the planet and and this is like it's taking time as a so like taking time out for self like 
we can be in dynamics, we can be in our relationships, we can be in our families, we can be in our... But, but you are yourself. And, and like, all of us on some level, like, personally, I think, like, to, for every single one of us as, as, like, adult humans, to have the tools and ability to get ourselves to that place where we feel good about who we are, where we feel accomplished in our accomplishments, like, and that requires a mental, emotional process and responsibility, right? So, I think that's what I'm going to say for that. Yeah, and for some of you, there's, ah, uh, you're, you guys are so good. Um, there's, there is a sense of creating community or desire for make more community or family. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more sparkle as well. It's like, I just saw the card fairy magic, which does make me think of like family, fun, friends. At the root of all of that too is that truly heart-centered, heartfelt connection. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Peace.